Scientists in Australia have received a massive military grant to fuse human brain cells with AI. One scientist involved saying the project, quote, merges the fields of artificial intelligence and synthetic biology to create programmable, pro programmable biological computing platforms. Sultan Megji is an AI expert and professor at Duke University. He joins me now. Um, listen, this is incredibly important work, I'm sure. It's also scary to someone like me. I didn't know you could grow brain cells. I did not know you could grow brain cells, and they apparently could play the game, uh, a ping pong computer game. So explain to me what this is. Well, it's an interesting area, right? And it's something that we've been working on for decades now. For so many years, we've been trying to get artificial intelligence to mimic the human brain, which is the best computer out there. Yeah. And this is a great next step. But what really it's trying to do is two things. One is to help us make better hardware so that the computers that are running our AI systems today are faster, more reliable, you know, easier, you know, cheaper, things like that. And then the second is to actually make the AI systems behave more like humans, to have smarter intelligence. Because we're really at this issue where AI systems don't really know how to learn as well as a human brain does. You know, you, I'm gonna stay on this for a second. These programmable uh, brain cells, are they, mm -hmm. are they carbon-based? biological matter? Is that really what this is? Well, you've got a couple of different versions of it, but yeah, in some cases you have a model, so they have a computer chip that mimics how a human brain operates, so that's kind of the more silicon yeah. side of things. And then in some cases you have actual biological cells that you know look not too dissimilar from a human or a pig sometimes they use. Um, that are just there to, to, to receive electrical signals, just like a human brain cell does, and then the electrical signal that comes out controls other computers. Well, we had a, you know, we've shown all morning this list of companies that are saying they're mm -hmm. uh, doing this kind of creed to, to say we're gonna do mm -hmm. a self-check on AI. Amazon, mm -hmm. Google, Meta, yeah. Microsoft, OpenAI. Um, what, what are the kind of moral problems here? If, if you take this a step further and talk about growing biological matter, uh, that could be used mm -hmm. as, a, as a brain for a computer. And now you have these companies kind of saying, we're gonna do a safety code. Are, th could we get into a place like where we were with stem cells a few decades ago? Well, it's an interesting parallel because, you know, the regulatory system here in the United States hasn't been updated in a while to deal yeah. with artificial intelligence, right? And that's why you see these seven companies kind of just agreeing with whatever the Biden administration wants mm -hmm. to say. Um, but, you know, stem cells actually have regulations around it. There are a lot of rules about what you can do with biological cells. So it changes the game there. Very interesting. I, I want to say scary, but maybe exciting. Who knows? Sultan Megji, <laughs> thank you for joining us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.